The American League Central takes on the West. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Los Angeles Angels. It's Major League Baseball 2K10. All about the American League, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, part of our broadcast for this game. Well, here's a guy whose name around Major League Baseball means hits. His name is Torrey Hunter. Will he be a factor? We're going to find out today. Hi again, everybody, along with Steve Phillips and John Crock. I'm Gary Thorne. Welcome. Our starting pitcher, Jared Weaver. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Uh, presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup, Ozzy. And it's Johnny Damon. We're just about ready for the first pitch. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. 19 career at bats, three hits off Weaver. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Uh, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. You've got a match aggressive B going right now. This is a 12 game win streak. Not a lot of streaks go deeper. Well, you have to like their chances. They come in winners of their last 12 ball games, looking for lucky 13 in this one. I mean, this team is showing they've got everything going right now. Oh, won the count right now after he fouled off that first one. Everything is going right. This is not a team you want to catch when they're this hot. No, an amazing. You're a out. swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. You're in. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crowd to get it over to first base ahead of the batter. Sometimes these things can get away from you. He did a great job keeping it in front. Good hustle and a great arm. And here's Paul Canerco. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And a one, two, three. In. And it'll be Jared Washburn doing the pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve, as he gets into this Angels lineup, what's he looking at? Line softly to center field. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have that's brought to you by Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, one guy you can't overlook in this lineup is Juan Rivera. He's a guy that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's going to drive in runs. He hits for a high average. He's a very patient hitter at the plate at times. He can, every once in a while, he gets a little out of sync and gets aggressive. If he stays patient, though, he can do good things. Let's see if he can do that today. Well, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, backing the hitter off. Now he's set up to go away again. Washburn set and delivered. Oh, got it. And it remains one and two. One two pitch coming. And Howie Kendrick got a swing and a miss. He's gone. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. Well, he doesn't have an overpowering fastball, that's for sure, but he knows how to use that fastball. He moves it around. Swung on, that is hit. And he'll go back to first. You know something, that was such a great play. That's worth one more look. Well, how about the camera work right there on that one? Terrific job, guys, on the camera. And what a play. Hideki Matsui, he's got a runner on at first. He's managed just two hits and 14 at-bats. Light time against Jared Washburn. Fouled off that first pitch, Owen won the count. He sends this one in the air towards center. That one's grabbed, side retired. So Jared Washburn holding those runs down. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be the White Sox. Big bats ready to make an appearance. Maybe a bit of an ocean breeze coming in, Anaheim, about 15 miles from the Pacific. Thanks for a beautiful baseball game. Lined up the middle, and it's in there. That hitting streak continues. And it's up against the wall. Here's Quinton stretching it. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. Well, this is just a good piece of hitting right here. No out starting the inning, and you're on and you're put yourself in scoring position. That's big. And Beckham's in the box. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0 1. 
I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. There's a swing, line drive, center field. One away now. And he looks that runner back to second base. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings of the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base, a real bonus to scoring runs. Swung on by Rios, strike one. And he's back easily, made a dive to get in. Oh and one Weaver kicks deals swung on connects here it's going to be fielded by Hunter and that falls for a base hit. Fantastic chance here. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. It's going to be Przinsky one of the best batting averages in the league two away and the runners hold at the corners. Let me take a look at the teams doing their best to get on base. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. Third, the Mariners. Fourth, the Orioles. And it's the Red Sox number five. Well, when you're ranked number one and on. Liner between first and second. That's in there. Should score the runner. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim well, right there, he just got a pitch he can handle, and he delivers a big RBI on it for the first run of the game here in the second inning. And as Jim Tomey at the plate, he lived on the ground ball to his doors, and yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. That will bring up Johnny Damon. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. He did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. First pitch on the way to Damon. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. And he's struggling right now. Swung on, liner to right. And that's going to be another hit for them. And Rios comes in. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Alexi Ramirez. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. Weaver sets, throws. Swung on, line to right field. And that's the third out. Abreu grabs it. They love to be able to put early pressure on picking up some runs here in the second. The White Sox. And so Tory Hunter leading it off. Center fielder. Number 48. The pitch. Hunt on and missed in its own one. Well, the Angels won their last game. That made it two for three after trading games one and two. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. One away. Only four games remain on the schedule. State Farm gives us a look at how the West is shaping up. It's the Angels in first, Mariners in second place, in third, the Rangers, and in the fourth spot, the A's. Starts him off swinging at his shoe tops for a strike. I'm well, going to try to make some contact in this ball game today because he swung and missed a little bit too much, striking out twice in his last game. And Rivera watches that one go by. The count is even. He tried to get him to chase that change up out of the zone, but the hitter laid off of it. Lays off that breaking ball. Takes it for a strike, though, one and two. And now a check swing. They say he went around. Let's take a look at first to see if he did. Just a little too much on the swing. The strike is called. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 44. It's got to be Napoli. Napoli. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. Mike Napoli isn't fooled by that pitch, and the count is evened up. Uh, not a lot of expectations, just a 130 lifetime average against the White Sox. Damon. 
That spot side is retired. No runs, no hits, nobody across the plate. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crunk, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Paul Canerco now. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. Swing and a drive, deep left center. Rivera to field this one. As he gets to it for the up. Now the State Farm lead award. Who has the power bats this month? Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. And it gets through two for two. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine leading the league in hits right now. Swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Lined out in his last at bat. And it's going to be Hunter. Throws over, puts it away. He throws. And they've got him in the pickle now. And they have him in no man's land. He is tagged out between first and second. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. His lifetime average, 381 off the white side. There's a strike at the knees on one. It looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Ground ball, Creedy. And that will retire Abreu. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. The key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. And we've got his tourist batting. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Good circle change that time, but it's called a ball. One and two. And the one two delivery from Washburn. Swung on and fouled away. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there. Struck him out on number two. Couldn't make a better two strike pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spot, powering that fastball down and away. Two outs, space is empty. And here's the first one. There's a swing and a miss behind 0 1. He's hitting 333 lifetime off Jared Washburn. That one's drilled to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Alex Rios. Line shot into center field. And that one is in there, his second hit today. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Lined out last time up. AJ Krasinski. Runner on first, no out. Here's the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on though. And Napoli spotting the pitch. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now. He's dominating. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. The one-two from Weaver. And he can't pull the trigger. A.J. Krasinski strikes out. That slider started at him and broke down and in into the strike zone. He just locked up the hitter. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. Single home run in his last at bat. Here's the delivery. Well hit towards the middle. One and two. Double play. In out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. And we'll see the angle.
Batters two through four. Catch a glimpse of Mike Sosha. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. A guy that just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and, and obviously haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. So Kendrick is down. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels number and how they rank in the American League right now. Third in stolen bases, fifth in ERA. They also show up in the top five in home runs in their league, showing that power is a major part of this club's offense. That ability to bang it over the wall. Fastball in there for a called strike. Washburn set and back up the middle. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes though, it's about a flare from the drummer. Good, solid, fundamental, flary baseball. Here's Matsui's first look. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one. Swing the bat well. Hit sharply towards the hole, and that's going to do it. Creedy's there. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He has delivered shutout ball through four. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Base hit his last time. hitter, number 27, Jim Tomei. Swings at that fastball and misses 0 and 1. His career average and even 300 against Jared Weaver. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field as he drops back and puts it away. State Farm brings you the teams leading the way offensively over the last 10 games. Number one, the White Sox, the Mariners in second, the Blue Jays third, fourth, the Royals, and it's the Red Sox number five. And it's Johnny Damon. Right there in the top five in home runs. Deep right. And Abreu is going to play it. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And the first pitch. A liner headed for the hole, and it falls in. Hitting streak continues. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. For the Chicago White Sox. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. A runner on first with two outs. And he starts Canerco out. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And Canerco's got himself a single. Breaking the action here. Let's look at the hit leaders on our State Farm leaderboard. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense and somebody they've really come to rely upon. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. He makes contact, line drive. And that'll do it as Kendrick puts it away. So Jared Weaver out of the inning. And it's Corey Hunter in the box. He's got the most home runs in the division. Here's the first pitch to Hunter. First pitch and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And that's going to bring up Juan Rivera. Number 20. A four no hit innings, and this team finally breaks through against this guy, getting their first hit of the ball game right there. Up the middle, and that'll hold the runner at first. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. It's got to be Napoli. Hit one out of the ballpark last time out, solo home run, and look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now. Feel good about himself. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. He's had an even 200 lifetime against Jared Washburn. 
Swung on and missed. Strike three. Mike Napoli has struck out. A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. And he strikes out Bobby Abreu. Great pitch. That one left him frozen. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. The Angels still hoping to put something up. And Beckham's in the box. Pretty to start out here in the sixth inning. First pitch to him. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0-1. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. Stops at second. Two back. And a brief moment to see who's atop the league batting wise, brought to you by State Farm. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. He deals. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. And just a three out of 14 lifetime against Weaver. Played by Ibar. So Rios is set down. Only three games remaining as we look at the race in the Central Division, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead they're sitting on top and making this all look Strike silly. One. It's going to be Przinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. And a swing and a miss on Strike Weaver's two. delivery. 0 and 1. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything close. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Okay, here's an opportunity for Joe Creedy to come up big for his teammates and deliver in a big situation. You um, saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung that well in that one, picking up a couple of oh, Swings and misses the slider on one. Over his career, a 265 hitter off the Angels towards center field. And in there, he's two for three today. Got to try to make it home here. And the run is in. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Designated hitter, number 27. Well, that base hit right there gives him a dozen straight games with the hit. And it looks like he might just be getting started. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. Hit hard on the ground towards third. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they score once on two hits. One man left. White Sox up three. And we've got his tourist batting. First pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. One away. Won't miss the broadcast tomorrow afternoon. We'll be in New York to see the New York Yankees. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. That will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's going to be a great matchup, and everybody's going to want to tune into that one. I'm looking forward to it. Washburn set and delivers. And it gets through. Not bad. Two for three today. So Howie Kendrick will come up. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. One out, man on first. And he starts Kendrick out. Ground ball to short. And he gathers this one. And there's one. And they get two. Great double play. That's going to do it here in the sixth inning. And Steve, you can just tell by looking at it, he's thinking about it. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Blew out last time. And here's the first one. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0-1. Oh, what a great curveball right there. You see how he fooled the hitter and got him way out in front. Swing and a shot to third. And so Damon retired. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. 
try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Right. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery on one. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look. It's swung on, hit by Ramirez. And Abreu gloves that one. That's the second out of the inning. And Paul Canerco to bat. Had a base hit his last time up. Now Napoli sets up. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0 and 1. Well, good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. And they're held in check here in this happening. White Sox three, the Angels nothing. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzy Guillen. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. First pitch to Morales. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Well, he's really only held him to two hits so far today, Gary. So he's been on top of his game out there. He's... And that swung on and hit. Rios. And it falls in there for a base hit. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things can happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Batting Hideki Matsui. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. A two seed fastball is such an effective pitch. One because. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Over to second for one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Now, Torrey Hunter. One out, runner on at first. Washburn set and delivered. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Swing and a rocket toward short. That's one out. And a double play. They got a ball. Man, oh man, is he on a roll on the mound, Steve. You can tell by his eyes, he's completely locked in right now. Those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt, bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. First pitch to Quinton. Hit up the middle. But he stays with it, gets the out. That's how you do it. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. And Beckham's in the box. He doubled his last time. Weaver sets, throws. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Apparently, he's looking for something a lot harder than that four seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. And Abreu tracks it down. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. Grounded out last time. And he starts Rios out. Hard grounded a short. Played by Ibar. Throws the first side is retired. And a good half inning there gone in short order in this one. A familiar face of Mike Sosha. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Tough to score with only three hits in a ball game, and we're we're deep into this one right now. So let swung on, hit sharply to first, and it's through. Base hit, Rivera. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Now, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Fouled off that first pitch, and it's 0-1. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste the pitch. They're way ahead right now. Steve, that was quite a move he put on there to avoid that last pitch. And the one-two delivery from Washburn. Got him! You know, they use the term filthy. I'm telling you, what we've seen from him today, that's what he's throwing. Uh, absolute filth, no question about it. He's got the hitters off balance. He's in complete control. 
So Bobby Abreu is batting. Chance here he could really do damage for Anaheim. 1 0 pitch. Swung on, hit. Washburn. Too late, and he is safe at second. Uh, and he's aboard. The infield played it deep like they knew he was going to swing away. He did, but was still able to find the ball. And we've got his Torres batted. He bounced out his last time. And the first pitch. Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Still 0 and 2. And it goes foul. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0 2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as fake. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. Two men on and two men out. Washburn set and delivered. Strike one. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the pitch. A line drive towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Freedy's there. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. He has six strikeouts now. And it'll be the White Sox. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. And the first pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Rivera to field this one. And he gets over to take care of it. Here's a look at teams getting it done on our league leader board. The staffs that have the lowest ERA. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. Third, the Mariners. Yankees fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. Well, this has the potential to be a very low-scoring game. Two of the best pitching teams in all of baseball. I tell you what, this is when execution is... A smash towards the hole. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads-up play. You, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0 and 1. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest you. White Sox 3. The Angels nothing. Two hole to get things started now. And it's Kendrick batting. Now the first batter here in the bottom half of the ninth. We'll see if he can get something going. Make this crowd happy. First pitch, here it comes. And that's too low. I don't know. Well, this offense has just been shut down in this one. I mean, they've left one runner on base the entire game. We're in the ninth oh. inning here. They just have not had any real opportunity. Washburn set and delivered. Right Call fastball. Now the count one and two. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four seam fast. Hit sharply down the line. And that's a base hit. Kendrick on it first. Having the bat. Uh, a nice piece of hit right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind it. Now, Kendry Morales. With good speed now at first base, Gary. They're going to have to at least... Ground ball, Creedy. There's one. And that's two. A double play. Designated hitter. And Hideki Matsui's up. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. Here's Matsui's first look. Oh, Circle one. change cut on him, missed 0 and 1. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Back behind second. 
Steve, that was one of the most outstanding pitching performances that we've seen in recent memory. With that final out, he's got a shutout. No, he didn't miss a spot the entire game. He had great defensive play behind him, a great all-around team effort. And on that play, it comes to an end, and Steve, we get to witness one of those rare events, a shutout. He was in absolute command right from the start. Gary, game like this doesn't come about without some solid defensive play, and he had that behind him. And congratulations on the goose egg. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching. Now the honors of our Pepsi Clutch performance, they go. Real good ball game, great battle here, and the pitching, the better part of it, came away with a win. And before the game, you probably would have thought three runs might not be enough to win this game, but lo and behold, it was. So for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.